Three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. La, it's been a while, so that's why I decided to make you guys a hair tutorial on a how to of my curly, curly hair. So, we're gonna start off with just combing my hair. I usually like to separate my hair in two and then comb each side, and I usually use this square comb because it gets out all my knots without tugging on my hair so much. I then go and take my Garnier Fruities leave-in conditioner and I apply this just to the ends of my hair and I love this stuff, it smells amazing. So I wanted to try something new for my hair since I really hate gels, mousses, any type of sticky stuff that's supposed to hold your curls. I do not like it. And the last Tresemme mousse that I used, I just, I didn't like it. It used to flake my hair and I feel, I felt like when I used to put a lot of it or, since I have a lot of hair, I would obviously put a lot and it would just flake my hair and I really didn't like it. It made it feel sticky and disgusting. So, I decided to pick up the Tresemme Perfectly Undone Wave Creation Seafoam, and I absolutely love it. I apply it to the ends, to the middle of my head, to every part of my hair, and it has not gotten sticky on me. It smells amazing. It smells like, I can't even describe the smell because it just, you just have to pick this stuff up. It smells so good. But as you guys can see, you guys can see what I am doing, how, I, how I'm applying it. I'm applying it to the front, to the back, to every part of my hair. And oh, this stuff is amazing. You guys have to go and try it. So after I'm done prepping my hair with the Garnier Fruities Leave and Conditioner and the Tresemme Wave Creation Sea Foam. I like to take my hair dryer and put it on one of the highest air pressure air pressure levels of it. And then I usually put the temperature on warm. On this hair dryer, it does not have the choices of temperature. So I just put it on high and it comes out pretty warm. This hair dryer is by Revlon and it's an okay dryer. It's just that my other one broke sadly. But it does the job well. So after I get my desired fluff, I like to put the sea foam on the frizzy parts of my hair. And right here you can see that my hair is dry on the top and then kind of damp on the bottom. That's how I like to leave it because I like the bottoms of my hair to just air dry and then the top to be dry because the top is literally the frizziest part of my hair. Alright, so that is the end of my curly hair tutorial. I hope you guys loved it. Do not forget to follow me and subscribe. Stay true to you. Mwah, I love y'all.